What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome to a brand new episode of my fifth 14 Team of the Week predictions. Welcome back guys and today we'll be predicting the Team of the Week number 34 which should be released on the 7th of May I believe at the same time as the Team of the Season Bundesliga and um, the Team of the Season Bundesliga definitely just rules out this Team of the Week completely. This Team of the Week hasn't got that many good players in at all. I'm not going to lie. Some uh, There's quite a few discard price players. I believe there's one, okay, let's say three players. Um, if you were to go after the players, you'd won. And that's about it in this week's Team of the Week. It's not the strongest. Um, and I'm not too sure why. Obviously, it's coming close to the end of the season. Players are not playing as well because uh, obviously their final league position is normally determined by now. Um, but um, let's get straight into the Team of the Week. Obviously, if you haven't seen the last couple of episodes, Changed it up completely. Going to start off with the team of the week straight away. No foothead business. Get into the starting 11. Do all those players and then move on to the subs. Just to make it a bit more enjoyable for you guys. And to actually see the reason why you would come to this video to watch the actual starting 11. The players you actually want to get in your packs. So let's get straight into the players. If you've got any suggestions, put that in the comments. And let's get straight into the players. So we're going to start off with the goalkeeper here. And we're going to have this player here, Cedric Carasso. Um, plays in goal for Bordeaux, I believe, in the French League. He picked up around five saves, a clean sheet, a penalty save and man of the match in his team's 1-0 win um, at the weekend. Very, very good performance by him. And I'm actually quite surprised he hasn't picked up an in-form card already. I believe I've used him in a number of different Team of the Week predictions. And um, so far, he hasn't picked one up. And it actually looks like a fairly solid keeper that should go for quite cheap. And um, maybe good alternative to some of the team of season keepers if for the French League coming up. Moving on to the defence here. First pick out here is this player here, Jose. Played for Atletico Bilbao in the Liga BVA. This game actually was on a Friday night. So it could be a potential not being in the team. But picked up a goal and a clean sheet in his team's 3-0 victory. A fairly standard performance from defenders. And defenders is actually a very, very hard week to pick them. There's some very, very average performances. And um, not many good outstanding ones that would definitely get the place. Moving on to the next player here. And we have this player here, Diawara, plays for Marseille in the French League 1. And um, this has been a game, I think it's a long time since he's played, but uh, came in for the um, suspended uh, Lucas Mendes, I think it was, and um, picked up a goal and got 8 out of 10 in the L'Equipe uh, French Footballing Magazine rating. Um, being in that team of the week, I do believe 8 out of 10 is a pretty high rating for any player in the French League. And um, could possibly see him in this week's team of the week. Moving on to the final defender, I decided to go for Wes Brown. This would be his second informed card, and the only reason I did it was because Sunderland went out and played Manchester United um, picked up a clean sheet something ended up winning 1-0 against Man United which um, is obviously a great result for them I believe they have now out of the relegation zone phenomenal performance from Gus Hoyer and his team there but um, he picked up a clean sheet in his team's 1-0 win very very good solid defender at the back and uh, could potentially pick up his second informed card like I said this week's defenders was extremely hard moving on to the midfield first player I have here is this player here Lafita plays for Getafe in the Liga BVA they came up against Barcelona ended up drawing 2-2 Two, fantastic result for Getafe there. And um, this guy actually picked up both of those goals. Um, two goals there from the right wing position. I believe he's normally as a cam. A uh, very, very good performance by him indeed. Moving on to the centre mids. This player here, Mariano Isco, plays for Catania in the Serie A. They went out and played Roma and actually won 4-1. Catania, I believe, are may even be relegated. They're definitely in the relegation zone. That's going to be a crucial um, win for them. He picked up two goals and assist and man of the match in that game. Fantastic performance from the centre mid there. Moving on to the the other said to mid CDM type player, we have Nigel De Jong, another set at player, plays at AC Milan. They went out and played their rivals Inter. Um, De Jong picking up the only goal in that game, picking up the Man of the Match award as well. And you could argue the clean sheet because the game finished off 1 0 there. Um, good, solid performance by from the Dutch player there and uh, could potentially be on the team of the week. Moving on to the final player in midfield, we have this player here, Mario Goethe, probably one of the best players in this week's team of the week. Actually played out as a left wing, which is kind of surprising, kind of annoying as well. I'd much like to see him in the middle um, but I believe he actually played out on the left hand side picking up two goals and assist and man of the match in his team's 1-0 win I'm not too sure on the team they actually played I think it was Hamburg uh, but still very very good performance from the young German then he could potentially be on the team of the week Moving on to the centre attack mid you have this player here Aaron Hunt plays for Werder Bremen in the Bundesliga and um, he picked up two goals in his team's 2-0 win over Herfer. I believe that was his last game. I'm not too sure off the top of my head. Um, I only watched some of the highlights. And um, 
And that's a great way to finish off your, um, I'm not sure if it's his career or just his season um, at Werder Bremen, but still two goals from any player, especially in the camp spot. Fantastic performance indeed. Moving on to the two strikers here. First player going to have here is this player here, Antonio Di Natale. And he's one of my players which I'm not actually too sure about. Um, picked up two goals, picked up a penalty miss as well. Unfortunately, he didn't get that penalty because that would probably most definitely secure his place, picking up a hat trick. Um, but had a very, very good performance indeed in his team's 5-3 win over Vivrona, I think it is, um, Liverona, um, and um, he also picked up the Set It A Team uh, Player of the Week or something like that, I'm not too sure, got the highest rating in one of the um, Italian football magazines, um, and uh, he could be a potential player up top, probably EA may want to spice the Team of the Week up a bit, just trying to get more packs in, uh, but I'm not too sure about that one. Moving on to the final player of the starting level, I decided to go for this player here, Edin Zeko, the Manchester City striker, being actually playing very, very well for City indeed up top, filling up the space for, I think it's Negredo's out, well, uh, not being playing too well, and also Aguero um, out of multiple injuries, should I say. Um, but uh, this guy picked up two crucial goals in Manchester City's 3-2 win over Everton, securing them the top spot, and also the slip-up from Liverpool last night, no, was it, yeah, Monday night, um, in their 3-3 draw with Crystal Palace. That still amazes me how that's possible. Um, but um, Eddie Zeko, he could potentially see there on that team of the week. Moving on to the sub bench here, not probably the strongest, but we have this player here, Kelda Navas, plays for Levan in the Liga BVA and he picked up nine saves and a clean sheet and a man of the match award in his team's 2-0 win over Atletico Madrid. Fantastic performance from the Levante boys especially after um, Madrid's decent week and beating Chelsea um, away and um, kind of surprised about that one but still fantastic performance by him and we could potentially see his second in-form card. Moving on to the next player of this player here Jeffrey Abruma plays for PSV in the Eredivisie and this guy picked up a goal and a clean sheet in his team's 2-0 victory. Um, could be a potential player on the bench. Moving on to another Udinese player. I decided to go for this player on the bench as well. I'm not too sure. Like I said, Di Natale was kind of a um, not too sure player to put in the team. But I decided to go for this player, Gabriel Da Silva. Um, actually played as a left back in the game. I believe his default card is as a left mid. But he picked up a goal and a clean sheet. And I believe he kicked up the man of the match ward in that 5-3 victory. Um, and... Um, Probably wasn't doing the defending. Obviously, three goals conceded, but uh, still a fairly, very performance, good performance by a left back. Moving on to this centre mid, I decided to go for this player here. Danny Holland plays for Portsmouth in the, I think it's the Football League one now. And, um, he picked up a hat-trick in his team's 3-3 draw with Plymouth Argyle. Um, from the midfield, a hat-trick for many players. A very, very good, solid performance. Moving on to the next player. This player here, Callum Harriotta, or Harriot. I'm not too sure how you pronounce that. But uh, plays for Cholton in the Empowered Champ well, the Championship. And um, picked up a hat-trick from Lift Mid in Cholton's 3-0 victory. I believe he also picked up two midweek games. And uh, is having a very, very good, good run of games so far. And uh, could potentially be on that Team of the Week bench. Moving on to... The next player, we have this player here, Ryan Stevenson, plays for Hearts in the SPL. I believe Hearts have now actually been relegated, but they are starting to. I don't know. They've just started to be playing football and ended up winning 5-0. Um, this guy picked up a hat-trick and two assists in that 5-0 victory. Um, fantastic performance by him and he would most definitely be on that team of the week bench. Also, believe he is. Default card is as a right mid, maybe. Um, I think he played as a centre forward or striker in the game. Moving on to the final player of this week's team of the week number 34. We have this player here, Nikolai Durkic. Or Durk. I'm not too sure you pronounce that name. Uh, but uh, he plays it in the second Bundesliga um, and picked up two goals, two assists in his team's 6-0 win and also picked up player of the week in kicker's second Bundesliga magazine type thing. Um, good performance by him. Two goals, two assists from any striker. Very, very good solid performance and we could possibly see him on that team of the week. So let's quickly move on to the squad here. As you can see, there are the players and like I said from the start, there's probably only three players people are going to want from the packs. Di Natale, possibly Zeko, and as well as Goza. Um, and Goza's position is kind of annoying. Left wing, probably not the best there. But that's probably the only players people are going to want. So this week's team of the week is definitely going to be overshadowed by the team of the season, Bundesliga, which I've got predictions for. So go and check that out on my channel. I believe that is going to be released the same time as this week's team of the week number 34 on the Wednesday, the 7th of May. So be sure to go and check that out. Have a look around Twitter, EA, see what that's going on. But guys, come towards the end of the episode. If I've missed any players, put that in the comments. Put the reasons why. Remember to hit that like button. Also, remember to subscribe. Stay tuned to this series and the upcoming Team of the Season predictions. Go and check my channel out for Team of the Season predictions as well, guys. This has been Crush. Till next time, adios.